Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel, Balloons and Business, where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. So today I'm going to show you how I made this Winter Wonderland themed setup. And this will be great for Winter Wonderland themed parties, as well as Frozen themed parties. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned. So I'm going to be starting off with these white polyester curtains. They're five feet wide by seven feet tall. And I'm going to be using two panels for this project. Now, normally if I was doing a full setup of curtains, I would use four to five panels of these curtains, but I'm going to be using a foil streamer curtain to go on top of this. So I only need two panels because this is going to be like the backdrop to um, the foil streamer curtains. Now normally these foil curtains come with a sticky strip that you can use to attach the surfaces but these didn't come with that so I had to use duct tape to attach it to the white curtain backdrop. Now I'm going to be double stuffing a baby blue Simpertex balloon inside of a Simpertex satin pearl balloon. And this makes for a very pretty pearlized light blue color. Now I'm going to be tying these balloons together into dupes using the inside necks. So I'm going to be using the necks of the baby blue balloons to tie them together. And I also use Simpertex Mirror Chrome Blue, Simpertex Mirror Chrome Silver, and Tuftex White. So once I'm done blowing up my balloons and tying them into dupes, I'm going to double twist them into clusters. You want to make sure you double twist the dupes into the clusters so that they will not pop out. I'm also going to be color blocking these balloons, which means I'm twisting balloons of the same color into a cluster. Now for this light blue cluster, I originally twisted together seven dupes, which is a total of 14 balloons, but I ended up adding an additional five dupes, which came out to a total of 24 light blue balloons for a big cluster. Now, once I twist all my balloons together into clusters, I'm going to take one neck from one balloon in one cluster and one neck from another balloon in another cluster, and I'm gonna tie those necks together. And that's how I'm gonna be connecting my clusters. Now, this may be a little tricky at first, but if you leave enough slack at the necks when you're originally tying the balloons together into dupes, it will be a lot easier for you to grab a neck to tie these clusters together. Now to attach this balloon garland base to the backdrop, I'm gonna be using the Simpertex 260 balloons. And I'm just gonna double tie this 260 around the balloon garland, leaving two ends out. And I'm just gonna wrap those two ends around that backdrop pole and then tie the two ends together. And I'm gonna do that right there at that midpoint and at the bottom. Now I'm gonna be adding clusters of balloons. So this is that extra cluster of five dupes I was talking about that I added to the light blue balloons. And I'm just adding by tying the necks of the balloons together. So I'm just taking one neck from one balloon in the cluster I'm adding, and then I'm finding a neck from a balloon in the balloon garland and tying them together. I'm also twisting together a couple of additional dupes to make these clusters bigger. For the white clusters, I twisted together about four or five dupes. For the chrome silver, I twisted together about four or five dupes. And for the chrome blue, I twisted together six dupes for the bottom cluster and about 10 dupes for the top cluster. Now to hold the top portion of that balloon garland up, I'm gonna take a backdrop clip and I'm gonna double tie a 260 balloon in the mouth of that clip. Then I'm gonna put that clip onto the backdrop stand and I'm gonna take one end of the 260 and wrap it around one side of the balloon garland. I'm gonna take the other end of the 260 and wrap it around the other side of the balloon garland. And then I'm gonna double tie the two ends of the 260 together inside of that garland. And that's how I'm attaching it to the top of that backdrop stand. So now I'm gonna be attaching small clusters of five inch decorators to the balloon garland using a 260 balloon. I'm going to attach two clusters on each end of a 260 and then double wrap that 260 around the balloon in the balloon garland and then arrange my clusters the way I want. I'm going to be doing this to fill in gaps and to create visual interest to my balloon garland. 
Now to make my specialty snowflake balloons. I'm going to pre-blow up a plastic bubble balloon. Then I'm going to take an 18 inch baby blue balloon and put it inside of the bubble balloon. You want to make sure that you leave the neck of that baby blue balloon out because that's what you're going to be using to blow up air into that balloon. Then I'm going to blow the balloon up to my desired size. And then I'm going to tie the neck of that baby blue balloon. Now I got these snowflake placeholders from the dollar store and I'm going to be using some glue dashes to attach this to my bubble balloon. So I'm just going to put about three or four glue dashes onto the inside of that snowflake. And then I'm going to firmly press it against my bubble balloon. Now I'm going to double tie a 260 balloon around the neck of that balloon and then use it to attach my bubble balloon to the balloon garland. Now one thing I wanted to note is that I wanted to play around with the shape of this balloon garland. When you have an L-shaped balloon garland, it can get a little boring and straight. So I was really big on trying to curve this balloon garland, especially at the top. As you can see, it's going up and down like a wave. I'm even curving the side of this balloon garland and I'm being very strategic with how I place my specialty balloons. I want them to be nestled into the balloon garland and not just sitting on top of it. Now for the happy birthday sign, I originally bought this iridescent cardstock birthday sign from Hobby Lobby and I was using some safety pins to attach it to the curtain backdrop. However, as you can see, that sign doesn't really stand out too much. Okay, real quickly, I decided to make some changes. It was I changed the positioning of this balloon. I brought it down. And since this is attached by a 260 balloon, 260s are very stretchy. So all you got to do is just maneuver the balloon down and under. You can even untie the 260 from the balloon and then retie it where you want to. Also, um... Instead of using that iridescent cardstock sign that I got from Hobby Lobby, I decided to use my good old neon sign. I'm actually going to get a couple more of these. I want to get Let's Party and Oh Baby as well. But yes, I attached a neon sign onto this. I will attach a link in the description box where you can see how I attach my signs, okay? So here is the finished product to this Winter Wonderland themed balloon garland setup. I have to say I really loved how the shape of this balloon garland came out. And I really loved those light blue double stuffed balloons. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.